Hey YouTube, how you doing? I just wanted to do a video about uh, the reason why I have chickens. A lot of people often ask me, hey, uh, Neil, why do you have chickens? And I say to them, well, there's a number of reasons. So this video is to answer some of those questions. For one, one of the reasons why I have chickens is because I like to eat organically uh, as much as possible. The other reason that I actually have chickens is because it's actually pretty cheap. Um, the chickens themselves actually cost, each chicken costs about $12. All right, so I spent $24 on two chickens, and each one of these chickens, they actually lay an egg uh, every day. So I get about a dozen eggs every week. Every, every now and then a chicken might not lay an egg here and there, but for the most part, I get a dozen eggs a week just from having these two chickens. Now obviously I have to keep up with the, uh, with, uh, feeding the chicken chicken feed or even feeding the chicken some food from my garden or even feeding them water putting them in the chicken coop taking them out of the chicken coop in, in the morning time but if you're okay with, with with raising an animal and keeping up with an animal I suggest that actually owning a chicken is is probably the right way to go if you want to save money um, one of the other questions that I often get about the chickens is how do the chickens get eggs if you don't have a rooster. And chickens lay eggs every day in the same way that a woman has their cycle. So it's a, it's a cycle that repeats itself. It's just like the woman's cycle. The hens have the same thing. And so this is the same, this is the, that, that whole uh, misconception that a lot of people have is that a, a hen is not gonna lay eggs without a rooster. Uh, no, the hens do lay eggs without the rooster, all right? Um, Every morning I just go to my chicken coop, I pick up the chicken eggs, and, and I go take them inside. One of the things that you don't have to do whenever you have a chicken egg is you don't have to refrigerate it if you don't wash it because the chicken egg itself has a natural coating on it that uh, makes you free of having to wash it. But once you, before you crack the egg and open it, I, was, I would suggest actually washing the egg, rinsing the egg off. But for the most part, it can stay outside if it's not washed. Uh, I was able to pull out two chicken eggs uh, this morning, but one of them I just broke trying to make this video. And so I'm going to actually take it inside and crack it open to, uh, to eat. Um, if you go over here, walk over to my chicken coop area. I have a, an actual chicken coop that I lock the chickens up inside of at nighttime to so avoid the predators because coyotes, raccoons, opossums, all those animals, they like to eat chickens. And then in the daytime, I let them out of the coop itself with the little gate there and I let them roam around in this, in this space here, all right? I have them in the shade because even though chickens need sunlight, you don't want them to be exposed to too much sunlight all the time. Uh, and you also want them to be healthy, just like any other living organism. You want, the, you want the chickens to have space to be able to run around and get its exercise and not be mentally diseased in the same way that a lot of the chickens are in the major farms are. Sometimes the chickens are, are very confined to very small areas. And sometimes when a chicken is mentally diseased, it, it plays a role in the production of what, they're, of what they're actually producing, the egg or the meat itself. So that's it, guys. That's why I have chickens. Um, I eat the eggs from them um, every week and it saves a lot of money and it's actually very you know soothing to be out here in the garden and, and managing this whole thing so remember guys the revolution will not be pesticides <laughs>